wanted to mention another teacher at, at Brockport, and it was Daniel Nagrin. And he was there for three years of my time, my four years there. And he, you know, completely blew everyone out of the water. And I remember doing a dance. He had us choreograph a dance, which I didn't even know what that meant. Pick your favorite music. And I picked um, Judy Garland, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I was like completely, knew nothing about music either. Um, it's interesting to grow up in a family that has no library, no books, no music don't have those dinner time conversations that I noticed all of my, I gravitated towards people who were from a higher class than I was from. And so, and so um, he, and then I went into a lounge somewhere and then over the rainbow, I, and he just screamed, stop, like that, stop. And I was just like, oh my God. And he threw his, whatever he had in his hand down, he goes, get different music, what is that supposed to be? I don't believe, you know, da da da. So then I went and got Blues Project, um, I would rather da da da, I would rather da da da, than not at all, I don't remember the song exactly. And then I decided, well Elizabeth, you can't dance, so don't move, just stay in one place, don't try and move. I just thought of that, and uh, it was called The Sham, and I just started out in a ball, which is one of our classic shapes, on your shins in a ball, and then I just went up and went back down. And um, it got in student concert, and it was a solo, and I was 19, it was probably my sophomore year. And that was the breakthrough moment where I thought, oh, this could be effective, even if you're not going step, step, leap all over the room, or looking beautiful and having you know, straight, perfect arabesque. So I'd say that was pretty, pretty pivotal. His, his believing in something in me that he could see, but that no one else could. I mean, I think I got a C in Modern Dance 1 from Irma Piloshenko, I just want to say. I'm very proud of that for some reason. <laughs>